Hello there, welcome back to Simon Shed. It's time for another video on the Sermoon V1 Pro from Creality. And uh, yeah, I didn't manage to fit everything in last time and there are a lot more features that uh, I'd like to show you. Uh, it's actually got a camera built inside and it does time lapses and there's a lot of sort of safety and convenience features that uh, I couldn't fit into the last video because uh, I was just setting it up and and giving you an overview of how it works. And uh, yeah, so decided to make another video. So let's take a look. Okay, so I have got a, quite a lot more experience uh, with this printer now and FDM printer, printing in general. Um, I think it's fair to say since I got it and set it up, it's barely had a rest. It's uh, yeah, quite often I'll start something printing in the evening and just leave it overnight. And uh, yeah, it's been printing various things pretty much constantly since I since I got it. Um, haven't had any issues with the uh, sort of feed mechanism. That's been really reliable. Um, the spool just sits on the side over there, and it's never got tangled up, and it just feeds in to the extruder which and I'm gonna to have to look this up is a Sprite direct double gear extruder which sounds very fancy but uh, as far as I can see what it means is it's uh, it's very reliable at uh, feeding the filament through so yeah now we're in front of the the uh, printer I'll just go through a few of the things that uh, I missed out last time uh, one which I've just unintentionally tested, which is the um, resume after a power cut feature. Um, so what happens is, <laughs> what happened is just just behind me here, behind the camera, there's a l little um, plug under there which was plugged in to the lights for my uh, for my railway. So um, as I was setting up the camera. I must have knocked that and uh, it must have short circuited or something because it tripped the uh, these new plugs that I fitted. It actually tripped the safety feature on that and I was in the middle of uh, printing something. So I had a little click and that all cut out. So yeah, the, printer's, the printer is plugged into there. It all went off and uh, yeah, I reset the plug and sure enough after a, a little while it uh, came up on the screen to ask if I wanted to restart uh, to carry on printing from where it stopped so I will demonstrate that to you on camera but uh, yes I have unintentionally tested that one already um, but yeah what I wanted to go through is just a few little bits like you can see we have a really good view uh, in, of the print there into the bed uh, that's an LED lamp which is uh, inside the unit and you can turn that on and off there um, you have a feature where you can pause when the door is opened you can see there it detects it on a sensor and you get the choice to continue or stop but uh, yeah that's a very good safety feature because that is obviously very very hot and uh, if there's kids around you don't want them touching that so close the door continue and off it goes again so yeah let's just simulate a power cut everything goes off and power comes back on and I can say how annoying it would be if it didn't have this feature because on my other printer um, I was quite a long way through a multiple hour print and uh, walked out of the shed and just force of habit I switched the 
I switched the switch off for all the plugs and of course that killed the printer and when I switched it back on on my other printer which doesn't have this feature I had to start the whole thing over again and it wasted you know four hours of uh, printing time and resin so I'm guessing what it's what it does whether it gets the information from the cloud or whether it's stored internally is it sort of checking and uh, loading in the information to find out how whether there was a print printing and how far it got and there you can see on the screen it's detected that a file was stopped and we just press continue now it does have to uh, obviously because it was stopped it has to reheat the nozzle and the bed back up to the uh, temperatures but uh, once it's done that yeah it'll just carry on printing your print and while we're waiting for that to warm back up uh, may as well go into here and show you how easy it is to change the nozzle temp and the uh, temperature and the bed temperature so uh, if you don't know when you slice a file you can set the temperature for the nozzle and the temperature for the bed and that might be different depending on whether you're using PLA uh, or ABS or uh, PLA plus they have different temperatures that they work best at now normally you'd set that in the uh, in the slice but if you get to the printer and there it goes it's it's firing off again uh, if you uh, get to the printer and decide you want to use a different material when you get there you don't have to do the whole slicing again you can just go into setup tap on nozzle temperature and just type in your new temperature and press the tick and uh, yeah it'll start uh, it'll start printing at that new temperature so it's really easy to change so I haven't even had a chance to mention the camera that's built into the pro model or show you the time lapses on the app but uh, do want to keep this video short and sweet so I'll leave it there for now and uh, I'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>